Hello everybody, let's talk about design automation for Revit 25. I was testing and found uh, some issues that uh, one is more visual, the logs not working, I'm gonna show that before, and the other one is uh, probably is in all design automation. So that's, I didn't catch before, that's kind of interesting. So let's talk about that. Uh, this is my project for testing design automation. I have really simple uh, input and output stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the description. It's uh, in the GitHub. And I'm install and update my, uh, the project, the design automation product, project and sample to run in the new version of Revit. And I'm injecting two stuff just to show the reference for my DOL, for the Revit API, and the framework in my assemble as well. Assembly as well. Yeah, uh, let's run that in, let's first build this just to make sure that I'm using the last version. Yeah, and then I'm gonna run this, um, this console version. That basically gonna uh, run, let's run in version 25. Yeah. Basically gonna get that uh, that package, gonna send to design automation and gonna run the package and gonna download the this uh, output file. Yeah. This model, yeah. Gonna download this and gonna show in my console uh, what happened, if it failed or not as well. So let's wait this to build. Yeah, and let's run this. Not sure we're gonna run in version 24 or five not right now. Yeah, let's see. Uh, come on. Yeah, uh, right now it's creating the bundle uh, in design automation. Gonna use version 25, yeah. Or Revit and gonna create the activity, the work item, gonna send that uh, with these arguments. Yeah. And uh, gonna run in this processing in that. So let's wait. Probably wait is about 40 seconds, I guess. Usually. Yeah. Let's wait. And then I'm gonna show what, uh, what's the issue. Uh, come on, let's go. And yeah, I'm gonna download the the output and run my console. Come on, let's go. Yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, everything works. Uh, this is my report for the it's an automation uh, work item. Yeah, everything succeed. Uh, I can look uh, the time and so on. And here's my output. Uh, this is basically the same as the input. And this is the output. I have the version for the Revit 25. Great. This is the build version. Great. This is the timer that this uh, run. And here's the reference inside my DOL. Yeah, uh, it's saying that it's version 19. I'm going to show why. And this is using actually this DOL that's running there is using net framework 4.7. Yeah. And this is my text, the same as the input. Yeah, this is a problem. And I don't know how I can show that. Uh, and yeah, uh, before that, I have the log that's not working. Where is it? Where is it? Here, yeah gonna show this this warning that exceed the the log or console output anyway yeah this is a issue that they already report for our task uh so let's uh, take a look what's happening actually uh when i'm creating my bundle for this project i'm creating for the version uh basic the version 19 21 and 25 so if I go, if I go in my, my project and go in here, yes, the bin, yes, the release, the package builder, this one, yes. 
here's my my bundle yeah if i go in the contents to go in the contents first yeah i have the version and i have these three versions so yeah version 19 that's what's happening that time to machine is loading this one for some reason and i have a version 21 and version 25 yeah that's that i would like to love to load in that but not happening uh what i believe that's happening uh i have the my package contents uh and these works uh with rabbits uh that i use for some time and by default uh this should load only the version that i'm running uh in that case should run this one the version where this version 25 because of this and should run that file but then automation is using the first one and i can show that using the first one and ignore this uh this series version so yeah that's what's happening in that i did not catch before this but yeah i can show uh i can show that uh this for some reason works but i can show a version that's gonna fail uh let's run in version doesn't matter too much version 24 yep great and uh let's have some bundles in here that i already update to force to have uh what is it my i close for some reason was this one let's open this didn't want to show that yeah uh i already changed this to let's open here and let's open this file good yeah uh i'm putting the version 25 in the top so yeah this is gonna run in version then automation gonna load this first so yeah and gonna ignore the rest i guess and if i run this in an old version what's gonna happen yeah by the way i have the version 21 here oh, just to show version 24 actually that i went to run in version 21 anyway and this but this is gonna be uh, run before so let's run this and uh, let's change that package in that in here uh i'm gonna delete this actually let's copy this version let's uh, rename this just to not break my automation and let's rename this to send this to design automation yeah and okay uh let's run this and see a big uh, fail because design automation gonna try to load the net core version and yes it's not gonna run so let's wait yes i'm using version 24 in this case and it's running everything should run the same but yeah but gonna load the wrong version and gonna break and that's that's bad i don't want to create uh, one bundle for each version that's stupid so yeah because bundle works like that inside the Revit, normal Revit, so should run the same inside automation let's wait and see the problem Usually it's for a second as well. This is processing in that. Let's let's see. Yeah, this fail. So yeah, that's the issue. And that's kind of interesting. Yeah, this fail, I cannot. Mm. Yeah, it, he's trying to load this, I'm pretty sure. And that's break. Yeah, the log. Yeah, here's the log. Mm, to load. 
don't have the login here. I have result fail. Yeah, that failed because it's tried to load the wrong version. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's interesting, it's run. Anyway, yeah, that's a, that's a problem that they're gonna report to the desk and try to fix it. So I don't need to create a bundle for each version. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'm gonna put this in the description. I have a beta version for this uh, project, but yeah, it's not gonna work until we have fixed this. So thanks for watching and bye.